Right, question 17. So these questions just look tricky, but actually, let's just write down what's happening. So it increases by 50%. So if something increases by 50%, it this best way of doing that is it just multiplies by 1.5. So we've got 1,500. And then we increase by 50% again. And that's the definition of a geometric progression. Because a geometric progression means it's multiplied by the same thing each time. Right, so now let's have a look at part B. So we've got the sixth day. So let's think about how to work out what the population would be on the sixth day. Well, it would be 1,000. And then we would multiply by 1.5 to the power of 5, not 6, it would be 5. Because if you think the first day is just 1,000, the second day it was 1,000 times 1.5 and so on. And then the tenth day, very similar, would be 1,000 multiplied by 1.5 to the 9. Now, we need to know how many times bigger that this is over this? That's what the question's actually asking us to do. So in other words, we want to do this figure divide by our second figure. Now that's actually easier than you think as well, because 1,000 divided by 1,000, that goes 1.5 to the 9 divided by 1.5 to the 5 is actually 1.5 to the 4. And if you really want to work that out, you can do. Um, and now part C. We have part C. Let's just draw a quick graph. So we've got up here, we've got size. And then we've got time across here. There. Now, we know they both start from 1,000 in terms of our population. So, flask A increases by 50% each day, so it's been multiplied by 1.5, so it's going to go up something like that. Now, flask B is also going up pretty steep, but it's not going up quite as steep, so it would just be a little bit over there. And that's all we can really do there. 